Good afternoon, it's about 12.15. Welcome to uh, 961. Guess what, guess what, grandparents' house. Gonna blow the roof off today. It's gonna take like 20 minutes, but he's making a big deal out of it, so I'm gonna go do that. Real quick, I don't even think he knows I'm here yet. Um, on the way here on 91 and Terex and Hudson, a black 540 pulled out. A couple cars behind me got M5 front bumper, M5 rear bumper, nice style 37 wheels. It's black, it looks perfect. It looks like exactly what Colt's car is going to look like. Um, but he turned, unfortunately, before I could see it. It looked really nice, though. Does this look familiar? I filmed quite a few times up here. Anyways, just kind of finishing up. Got the still. All of this is cleaned up. Um, mostly just sticks, like a lot of huge sticks. Maybe we'll see some in the driveway. I did say sticks. There's no D on there. There we go. Kind of. All right, I'm going to go down. Now we're going to clean that up. Can you see my tire tracks on here? He just had his driveway resurfaced. So you can kind of see... Michelin Pilot Sports. Roof is done, it looks nice. I'm gonna head over to the bank and uh, make a quick deposit and then I'll be back. Well, we're back. All right guys, the next few clips after these photos here, we actually went and drove this car without the mufflers uh, or the, the tips on the car. Alex drove it first, you'll see the actual good footage is from me in the back seat recording that. Then I actually took the car for a spin. Alex didn't want the uh, the representative from the dealer to see that for some reason that he was filming, so I have to excuse the quality of the video, but please listen to the sound. Um, unfortunately, I just edited it, and unfortunately the flip didn't do the car justice at all. Obviously the low tones, the flip microphone sucks. It barely picked it up. Um, disappointing. It's about 40 times the volume you hear here. Uh, you will, you're about to hear in this video, uh, it only picked up the higher frequencies of it, which makes it sound not too bad, but trust me, it is pretty much unbearable. So enjoy the lesson. I put my foot in a few times. You'll be able to hear it. Have fun. Leave some comments. Here we go. Yeah, I'll take this shoes off. Drive. It's hard to drive man. I don't think that door shut. Is it? I don't think it did. There you go.
Alex just bought a car. All right, not so much. Hey, we got to drive it. That's like the fifth M5 I've driven. Um, that makes four M cars for me. Four M cars for Alex. It's really, really loud. I thought I went deaf in the back seat. And it's not a good loud. All right, the, um, the mufflers have been removed. The catalytic converters and the resonators are still in place. All they did was chop the mufflers off the back. And holy crap. 40 miles an hour at 1500 RPM in that M5, you couldn't hear yourself think. It was just buzzing everything in the car, Un completely undrivable. People that do that, I don't get it. I don't know how you'd ever drive that car. Maybe going around a track, it would be okay it was, for 15 it's, minutes. It sounded good if you're putting your foot in it. When you put your foot in it, it sounded good. It was just far too loud. So, just oh like, my At the God. RPM right now, we'd probably be deaf. Yeah, at this you'd RPM, be deaf. we would be deaf. You couldn't drive the car Wouldn't, as a no, daily you'll, driver, you'll know city driver. You how it feels, because we got the clip before this. The clip before this. I don't know what Alex filmed when I drove it. Um, I put my foot in it a little bit a couple times, and it's, it's definitely a faster M5, but... Oh, just that sound is god awful. So Colt, you're thinking about taking the mufflers off the off the M5 exhaust? Don't do it. Don't do it. You will regret it. You will. It sounds no. Don't do that. It's way too loud and it burbles. It just sounds sloppy. Don't do it. Welcome back, guys. 6:17 uh, p.m. on the way home from grandparents' house. Uh, Alex just couldn't keep up with my totally legal driving, so I don't know where he went. He missed something back there. But anyways, headed back home. Within the last three minutes, I have seen two E90 series M3s, uh, an E92 in Silverstone, that one I filmed a few times, and one that I haven't seen before, 10 seconds ago, a black or dark gray metallic E93 M3 convertible. So that's cool. Lots of M cars. I flashed my lights and waved at both of them, and neither of them responded. It's 2.06. Good morning. I've been uh, working pretty hard. You know me. Worked pretty hard this afternoon. Uh, I drove that car. Hey, it drives well. It just sounds abominable. Uh, it was it was fun though. It was fun to drive it, but uh, yeah, leave comments on that below. So I've been working out here in the garage actually, doing a little bit of engine detailing, which you won't be able to see because it's dark as hell out here. But we're gonna take a look anyways because that's what I do. Um, been doing the YouTube's too. I've got like two hours off the watch later clips, which only leaves me with about an hour, which we should be able to do tonight. Damn it! Really can't see anything. All right, well, I took off the um, passenger side intake, everything, plenum, the lower box, mass airflow sensor, upper box filter, cleaned everything out. I mean, I took everything off the strut tower here, the electronics thing, this uh, washer fluid reservoir I removed, cleaned all of that, kind of degreased it. Looks really nice now. Also, remember the old Cheapo Depot headlights this car had? Well, all of the wires were still in here and zip tied to the other wires that then go under the cabin air filter box housing into the electrical box housing. So I tore all that apart, removed all that hardware, the other wire snaked over here back by the CPS sensors under that box. I spent like two and a half hours out here tearing this all apart and cleaning it. And I got everything done except for the right side, the driver's side here. I'll take this box apart tomorrow. I mean, I took, I took everything inside, cleaned it in the sink really well, decreased it, cleaned the hardware, the band clamps and everything. Um, the bottom of the, the air box filter here, not the top part, under the filter, that part of the box had like gravel and shit in it from, uh, from the intake. So we got all that all cleaned out. It's really nice now and the hoses that come down into the lower grill. So you know me, I'm just going crazy with all this stuff. I would like to kind of remove these brackets here for the oil filter and the power steering uh, reservoir, but I don't want to make a mess of that or screw anything up to clean the strut and everything, the strut tower and everything down there. Yeah, so I'm going crazy with that, but it's good way, good good use of my time, I suppose. Keeps me off the streets. So I'm gonna finish um, today's editing. Go upstairs, get to bed uh, tomorrow. I keep saying that we're gonna go to the pool. Well, I really want to. I do. I haven't been for days now, but it's been cold for pool weather. It's been like 70 and cloudy. By the way, here is half of the wires. Here are half of the wires that I removed from the car. That, that's half. The other half I put in the trash can. I'm kind of keeping this stuff. Maybe Rosvon wants it to protect wires. But my God, this is probably uh, about 10 feet of wires here for those damn depot headlights. Look at that. There's a freaking fuse in there. We got, I think this is a relay switch. What do you even call that? It's that. 
Yeah. I'm going to get rid of that if he doesn't want it. But it's good to get out of the car. It'll be faster now. It should shed some weight, right? All right. That's it. Talk to you tomorrow, Tuesday, day 962.